Oh, hey guys and girls, um, today I'm going to be changing the wheel bearing on my car. At Fiat Panda have a lovely wheel bearing set up, uh, it's quite simple, there's no having to heat things up and then cool them down to get them out, it's just pretty much one whole complete unit, which is the hub carrier. Uh, it sits just down there somewhere. Uh, to get to it I've got to remove the caliper and the disc, and then it's four bolts that hold it in. So there should be those two bolts, two caliper bolts, and the hub cap, oh this one as well here, and the hub should all just come off, happy and good. However, we'll see. Yeah, guys and girls, as you can see I've uh, stripped it down enough now to have got the wheel off. <laughs> what remains of my, um, what do you call it? my uh, dust cover which is completely rusty on this car so I just snapped it off because I couldn't be able to take the wheel bearings out but uh, yeah I've taken the disc off that's the guy in question it's a bit loose as you can hear so it needs replacing uh, a bit of trouble with the, with the caliper it's a bit of a weird design I was undoing the what I thought was a bolt on the on the back here it's just a nut and a, uh, a thread that goes through the whole thing. So I was like, well, that's weird. But anyway, I got the bottom bolt out, which thankfully was a bolt. Um, and with that one, I just kept hammering it with the soft hammer until it come up and cleared the uh, brake disc. So yeah, what I've got to do is just remove that bolt there. You can see sticking out. Draw the whole thing forward and let the drive axle come out because that is loose ish. There you go, it is loose. And uh, yeah, get to the CV because I've got to, got to change the CV boot as well as. Try not to lose all my gearbox oil. <laughs> and we'll go from there. Yeah, hopefully the next bit of the video will be of, I don't know, this removed. Time will tell. Well, hello guys and girls. Uh, I say hello guys and girls, yet for you guys it's just been a few seconds since uh, I last was talking to you. I'll get used to this one day. Anyway, my wheel bearing is free. And if I get my glove off. Come on, glove. And I spin it round, listen to this. That's the noise I've been hearing inside the car. <sighs> it's been annoying me somewhat. So we'll change that. I've also got that CV boot right there to change. Which you can't see very well. Of course you can see, look, it's got grease all over it. That's not good. That means it's splitting it. I've got that to change. That boot's holding up quite nicely. That's the one I replaced when I uh, changed the gearbox. <coughs> so yes, just change that, change that, I was hoping to be able to get the caliper off but I've got no idea how the hell them calipers are all held on, it's some weird hocus pocus technology that is, because I've undone the nuts off it and I, can't, I still can't get it to move so I'm like, ah, just leave that, <laughs> I don't know how to go th threading anything, so besides I don't need to take the caliper off so I won't bother doing it. It would have been nice to have um, squashed, to undone the brake uh, pipe a little bit and to have squashed all the uh, all the old fluid out and run some new stuff into it but uh, for the time being I think I'll just leave it be. Right then, let's crack on with it. Alright, there we have it, the wheel bearing is off. And I figured out how the caliper gets hold on. Like that. There's another bolt there, if you can see that there it goes. Put the glove on. There's another bolt on it up there. So that's obviously how the caliper is held on. I might do that just to take this just to take this bloody horrible, horrible thingy off. Wish I had a replacement for it, but I don't. So 
So I'm going to just take that off and do the caliper. Get rid of all the possible rusting points. Yeah, then we're also going to repaint this as well, I think, while I'm at it. Chuck some paint over that and on the inside as well, it definitely needs it. Well, it actually came apart easier than what I expected it to. I thought I'd be dealing with shared off bolts and all sorts, but no, no, it came apart pretty well. I did have to take the bolt. Oh yes, I must remember to uh, remove things off the memory card after I finished with it. <laughs> just ran out of memory there. I had to delete some stuff. Yeah, where was I anyway? Yeah, I've just got to take this uh, plastic dust cover, this, uh, sorry, metal dust cover off. Wish it was plastic. <laughs> it would never have broken. Could just snap it off. But it'll be left with a bit. So what I'm going to do, I think, you don't get much room in there to stick a socket on it, do you? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I'll be able to undo that or not. Yeah. You are not required anymore. Yeah, uh, hmm. Best crack on, crack on with it, I think. I'll uh, put the new bearing in. I'll give it a bit of a paint up, I think, first. Put the new bearing in, then stick the new boot on. Job should be good, and hopefully. Oh, hey, guys, and girls, again. Alright, so uh, as you can see, I've just painted it a bit inside there. It's nice and yellow now. I've also painted the. Uh, CV joint housing as well because that was going a bit rusty so whatever I've painted it the new boots on as well the old boots over there my zoom works yay zoom and my shaky hands because I'm quite cold um hmm nothing much to say really uh, it's got the new bearing ready all the bolts and yeah it should be uh, should be laughing I've got to bolt it through the caliper, which I've got to paint up as well before. So yeah, hopefully the next one will be a fit in. Yay! All right. Well, as you can see, guys and girls, it's about done. I've just literally slipped that bottom ball joint back on again. It's still loose. It's got to tighten it up. I've just poked the thing back through. I'm in the process of tightening that up. This is going to work, I think. Awesome stuff. And there we go, guys and girls. It's all back together again. I've got no bolts left. Uh, I've done a bit of painting on there as well. Well, that was all in bits, so I obviously painted it all. You saw some of the work I just did. Have a look. Painting nice, shiny. I also roughed up my brake disc as well. I don't know what, what difference it's going to make, but I've, uh, what do you call it, sanded it down a little bit just to sand off any nasties that's in there. No, lovely. Lovely stuff. Yes. Just to get the wheel back on now. Still got my other wheels I need to refurbish. These are the ones that are blue. Well, this one's blue. But this is the one that's uh, courtesy from Mr. Slugworth. Unfit form. Yeah. Right, oh guys and girls, I think that's about it. I'll just pop this wheel back on and I'll give it a test. See what it does.
And there we go. Well, there's the path, and let's uh, back it out of here. If I can remember where the keys are. Yes, keys, where are the keys? That is the good question. Oh, it's always the same thing. Oh, they're in the ignition. I knew that. Well guys and girls, I've just been out for quite a long drive and uh, yes, the wheel bearing performs great. I just went out and saw my, uh, uh, went, went to see my grandparents, so yeah, spend some time with the grandparents, you have to. It's always nice to see them. Ah, my grandparents are the guys that helped me ensure my little panda car, so uh, without them I still wouldn't be on the road. So yes. Lock the gate. We've taken the panelling off the gate as you can see. I've got to paint them at some point in time. But uh, yeah, no weird noise coming from the front wheel anymore. It's all nice and quiet now. Uh, it seems a shame to do the other side, but I may as well. I've got, I've got to take it to bits to find out what that knocking noise is. But uh, anyway, <laughs> my battery went flat in my camera, so I've had to put the extended one on. Uh, anyway, yeah. Oh, look at that, what I've left it on in my car. I wonder if you can see that, that green there. Can I zoom in onto that? Put it on focus. Yay, focus! Yeah, you hear me, battery's not very good. Alright, oh well then. That actually make a pretty cool heads up display. <laughs> Alright then guys and girls, thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for the other side to be done. Peace out.